Kindred Longevity Lifestyle Designers this is Zach here with Secrets of Longevity.com as well as ZachMartinKilger.com and this is another video on what may be causing the leaking of Jing Essence in your life. We need to identify all the factors and work on eliminating them so that we can have the most optimal long-term health to optimize our goal of limitless longevity. This video might come across as a bit scathing on any belief systems you hold and I apologize in advance, I'm not intending to say that what anyone believes is wrong necessarily. I think it's great that we have such diverse thoughts and beliefs and perspectives in the human culture, the human global culture, and there's definitely uh, nuggets of truth and wisdom from each spiritual tradition. But something I do see pervasive in all, uh, I guess you could say, primitive religions, or what has came out to be religions in our modern day cultures is this idea of a better place in the afterlife that we're all working towards. Now I understand that if we take sort of a strict psychological standpoint from this and analyze it we can see, say that you know if we have this idea of a place that's better than here we can do things in our life that are very good and it helps us strive to be better people so that we can get to that place, that sort of mansion in the sky so to speak. But my personal standpoint is that anything that we are holding as a belief without experiencing or without being able to experience right here, right now, in this very moment is based on sort of flight of fancy or basically doesn't have any foundation to it. So yes, there's ideas that get passed along in the form of tradition, and that's what makes up religions. However, there's really no basis for many of these things. And by holding these contradictory beliefs that we don't have evidence for in our lives, we are setting up sort of patterns of confusion in our mind-body experience. And this can be shown from the science of psychoneuroimmunology where they show you know people that adopt sort of confusing beliefs or contradictory beliefs and so if your experience on the planet or in the moment is different from what you believe it can cause imbalances in the body you know you get it can hamper your immune system basically in the long run so whatever your personal creed that you take is if you're having this idea of we're working towards a better place and you're not focused on creating the better place right here and now, you're never going to be satisfied with the here and now because you're expecting something in the future. And this can get a little zen, and I believe that there definitely are some traditions that could be outside of the label of religion that are a little more closer to truth, if we could use the term truth. I try and stay away from that name or label just because uh, anyone can spout the word truth and say what they're saying is truth but it's really in the experience of what you're ex getting in your life and if you're actually getting benefit to a belief that's not based on anything it's just what some other, someone else told you so any system of development or um, practice or worship that speaks of kind of ascending a staircase or getting to some place higher up or ascending, I would strongly recommend that you be precautious in uh, exploring these things and definitely keep a watchful eye on what it is you're taking into your mind-body unit as a belief because we don't want to get locked into patterns of feeling and thinking that where we are now is a bad place and it needs to be better than it actually is. And by all means I do think that we can improve where we are in our life through conscious goal setting and attaining our desires in that way. But we don't need to have a fear factor of hell or damnation to boost us into a place of heaven or a great pie in the sky so to speak. It's quite interesting if you look at the history of uh, various religions. I'm just going to take on Christianity here for a moment because the concept of hell, if you look at the history of where it came from, you'll actually find out that Yale or Shale was the origin of the word hell. 
And this was actually a physical place in the world, outside of uh, Jerusalem, I believe. Somewhere in the Middle East there, there was a city, and there was a place outside of it called Shale, or Yale. And it was basically where they, people threw their waste, and there was burning pits there, and they actually would lock up prisoners there, too. So over time, this idea of a place of burning pits and fire and a miserable place to be where there's disease and crime, etc., that got turned into a metaphorical spiritual realm which people would go to for all eternity. And that was a way that religion used that to pump fear into people to get them to become better people. And that, in my opinion, is the wrong way to become a better person is to set up this mind construct that you're going to experience something bad if you don't be good. It's kind of like a Santa Claus conundrum where you're going to be put on the list if um, naughty or nice. So from Chinese medicine, we know that the kidney organ system is uh, governing, is what governs Jing. So this idea that Jing essence is le leaked um, by problems with the kidneys and the emotion of fear is attached to the kidneys, and when that emotion is uh, taken on through everyday life, it's going to weaken Jing essence. So, in this way, we can understand that if your whole life revolves around this subconscious on a very deep core foundational level, that um, you're fearing for your well-being in an afterlife based on what you're experiencing right now, and your motivation is fear. You're acting out of fear, trying to be a better person through fear. It's going to be sapping your vital life force, your Jing essence. So that's my um, take on that. And definitely put comments below. I want to hear your feedback on this. And uh, I'll talk to you later.